Hi everyone, good evening. So as promised, here is the video tutorial of how to check class attendance via Google Classroom. So first things first, let's head over to our Google Class right here. As you see on your screen, I'm assigned to the junior high school class, that's class 16. So before we do anything else let's head over muna sa class settings so you'll see a gear icon beside the google apps icon near your profile picture so click that the gear icon so that's the class settings and then you will see now everything about your class including the class details Ayan, general the class code and then the stream and then there's also there um a button that allows you to generate a meet link but we'll not use that for now muna now let's head over to grading okay so here is where the magic begins because you have to set muna the categories before we head over to doing the uh, posting the quizzes and the attendance so here so overall grade calculation you'll see there um, there is a drop down button so you'll you'll be prompted to choose whether there's no overall grade via total points or uh, weighted by category so we'll choose weighted by category there's also an option to show overall grade to students but i won't choose that okay i, <laughs> I won't choose that for a personal reason okay so now we have here daily attendance okay so this is where you're going to put now the categories so as per the instruction given to us by the regional office so ang attendance daw po is 10 percent okay so key in there 10 percent and then training output that's the second category and then 90 percent so if you'll just notice google um classroom will will of course and automatically suggest yung remaining na percentage okay so now it's up to you how how many yung under remaining na percentage to be added so it's um so it's in indicated here in a 90 percent so let's add there 90 ayan and it automatically um um senses na the remaining percentage is zero okay so ayan so there's no more grade category to add so there's no need not to press add grade category so let's head over to the next step but before that click save muna ayan save so yeah let's wait to save okay so now we all already um set the preferences okay and the class um categories now let's go to classwork okay because we're now going to assign the attendance as part of the grading system. So I prompted to, I opted to create a topic para mas malaki yung font niya. Ayan, daily attendance. So how, how will you create something like this? So dito tayo sa create, create, and then topic dito sa baba. Okay, you can see there's the topic. And then you, you can add now daily attendance. Okay. So, it says here that the topic already exists, so I might as well cancel that, okay? And, head over na to the daily attendance. No, wala. Ayan, here, okay? So, you can also arrange the topics, ayan, based on your need. Ang ingay ng dog namin, I'm so sorry. Ayan, so, hilahin ko siya papunta dito, maybe I should stop. Now, so we have now the daily attendance topic that, that we just created a few moments ago. So now, we're going now to create the attendance checker. So let's click create. Okay, click create. And then, um, question. Okay, so we're going to post a question. Ayan, let's just wait for the window to appear. Ayan, so here is the question window. So um, we're going to ask a question. Um, say... Day 1 or day 0 muna because this is a trial, okay? Day 0 attendance, okay? And then, the first option here for the drop-down button is short answer, but we're not going to choose, choose short answer but multiple choice instead, okay? So, let's click that, 
Okay? And then, it will prompt you to add an option. Okay? So, just add here yes. Okay? So, let's key in our instruction or extra question here. Um, let us know you're here. Please select yes if you are. Okay? And then I'm just going to add here a little disclaimer because this is just a trial attendance um, check. Okay? Because the real attendance check will start tomorrow during the training proper. Okay, so disclaimer... This attendance check is trial. Thank you. Do not take it seriously. Thank you. Hey, right. so now. After you add now the option, I'm I'm not adding another option because that might complicate things. Okay, I don't want to explain any further. But now, let's just add it to our class, and then it will be posted for all students in my class, JHS Class 16. Be careful not to select all the other classes in the drop-down menu. So it's better that it remains closed. Okay. Now, for the grade category, you may just um, select here whether it's under daily attendance or whether it's under the training output. Okay, so we're doing this for daily attendance and then we have here the points. So, it's it's your call already how, how many points should you assign to that um, specific attendance check. Okay, so for this round, I'm going to give them 100 points. Okay, so... The due date. So, during our meeting earlier, we were told that um, let's have at least two hours, um, two, two hours grace period for the checking of attendance. So, what time is it now? It's already 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to um, add here now. So, wait lang. Ayan. Click that drop-down menu and then you'll be able now to select which date the the attendance oh sorry the item will be due or the question will be due so here i'm going to select tonight um july 6 pa rin, and then time it's already eight o'clock so ano um 10 o'clock okay two hours sabi ni sir bj sir bjorn so 10 p.m okay ayan so it's already set due 10 p.m tonight Okay, and now it's very important that you click the topic kasi um, it, it will let your readers see agad your post, okay? Because I just noticed earlier na um, um, the participants are having a hard time back reading and locating our assignments, like the materials we post for them. So it's important that we categorize them under topics so that they'll see them under large um, letters okay so ayan i'm choosing daily attendance okay and i'm also allowing the students or the participants to see the class summary okay and then here dito sa taas there's a purple button so so the color depends on the overall theme or color of your class so mine is purple if you'll click the drop-down arrow, you'll see um, four options. We have Ask, Schedule, Save Draft, and Discard Draft. Okay? But it automatically saves naman because this is um, stored in your classroom and in your drive. So now, what are we going to do is to click Ask. Okay? So we don't need the drop-down button for now. Okay? Click Ask. Ayan. And it will be automatically posted to your class. Okay? Ayan. Question created. So, there's a prompt um, at the lower left corner of your screen. Question created. And you'll see now that there's already a post under the topic daily attendance. Okay? So, ayan. So, let's check. Let's click the day zero attendance. Ayan. So, you'll see the total number of students 
to which the uh, to which the question is assigned. Ayan. So you you see now sixty three assigned and then zero turned in. And as we as we move on, if students now turn in their answer and if if they click yes, this zero will of course change to the exact number of students who turned in the attendance. Okay, and this automatically closes at. 10 p.m. So it's now up to you to explore Google Classroom if if in case you wanted to see how how your screen looks like if the the attendance form or the question already comes to a close. Okay, so that's it for now and thanks for watching and waiting for this tutorial video. Thank you. A quick continuation of my video. So there was a student who turned in very quick. So just to show you my screen. So, ayan, the first student to turn in the attendance was Sherry Ann Bandal. Ayan. And just a little spoiler. Okay, sige, sasabihin ko na. Um, if a student misses the attendance check and if the question all already closes at a specific time that I set, um, what will appear here alongside their names is the word missing marked in red okay so they they won't have a chance na to to answer the attendance and for for those who turned in late okay there'd be a uh, a small phrase dito a small sized phrase here na done late parang ganun okay something like that i'm um, done late or turned in late, parang ganun siya. Okay, so currently I have two students who um, did the assignment, uh, the attendance check right now. Ayan, so two out of 63. So I have 61 students um, yet, um, not not yet done with the attendance. So I, I will still wait for them until they do so. Okay, so that's it for today, for tonight, and thanks for watching.